What's up everybody, Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. Happy Independence Day everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful, uh, great long holiday weekend as we celebrate the independence of our great nation. Uh, guys, I just want to let you know, I'm going to share with you right now uh, about two minutes of a 10 minute lesson that's on the membership site for uh, core and premium members. Guys, over here uh, on the membership site, we do have AC Circuit Basics. This is something uh, I've been working on for a while, and uh, really I've been learning a whole lot about myself. I'll be the first one to tell you, I use my volt voltmeter almost every day you, uh, checking DC circuits. I mean, this is something I do all the time, um, but AC circuits are something I really have not been familiar with and really dived into a whole lot, but uh, I've been learning a lot lately, so I'm taking along uh, to share with you what I'm learning. Uh, in the next lesson, which I don't have published yet, it's not up there, we'll be working on the AC filters, uh, you know, using inductors and capacitors to kind of modify the, the uh, properties of an AC circuit. I couldn't think of the right word, but Anyhow, here you go, here is a quick video preview. As this current flow is changing, you're gonna actually see uh, a, a sine wave. Uh, this here is a sine wave on roll mode. Before we get too involved here, I wanna show you the setup that I'm using. Now there are some voltage measurements that are super important for us to understand. Uh, there's three major measurements and, and there's a way to get to each measurement from another with a mathematical formula. There's our peak voltage, our peak to peak voltage and our RMS, which stands for root mean square voltage. Now my scope is set up here so that you can actually uh, see what's going on. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna stop this. Uh, root mean square is actually, a, there's a formula for it. It's one over the square root of two times your uh, peak voltage or voltage uh, peak. Guys, mathematically that works out. I'm not so concerned with mathematics, just trying to expose you guys to some very basic things here. We're at, uh, what, 1.008 seconds? Guys, that is one complete cycle. And the formula for uh, frequency is a little f equals one divided by the time that it takes for one complete cycle to happen or a period to happen. Let's bust out our calculator. And we said one divided by the time it takes for one cycle to happen will equal all our frequency in hertz. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit this up and hit one divided by the 16.64 milliseconds. Now it's very important to make sure we keep our units the same and we want to be using seconds. So 16.64 milliseconds is equal to 0 0.01664 and that equals 60.09 hertz. Guys, you see mathematically that works out. Um, I don't really think you're gonna have to use that much, but I wanted to show you that that is our frequency in Hertz and that's something you see. Once again, thanks for taking the time to watch. I appreciate all your support. Give me a thumbs up, hit the like button. If you really want to help me out and learn more yourself, be sure to check out handsonautotraining.com, the membership site. Uh, sign up for the core premium membership. You'll get a whole lot of information there. You guys have a great holiday weekend. Bye-bye.